video is already kind of a lie because I've realized you're gonna need paper. You're gonna need paper. Great, good times. Hi, cat. Do you wanna see a cat? Hi. Hi. How do you set up for a video? Very unprofessionally. <laughs> This is the tool that we are talking about today. It is a pencil. This, this is not an ad. I've not been sponsored. I wish I have, but I have not. I have talked about this briefly before in other videos. It's my favorite pen. It's my absolute favorite pen. <laughs> and I always keep one in my pencil case. In this case, I have two. I also keep two Sharpies, a pen, a pencil, a paintbrush. <laughs> Oh, and a pencil sharpener. Cool, I am on top of it. <laughs> so if you're wondering what's in my bag, when you're an artist, also when you're a YouTuber, <laughs> let's talk about this. I have ordered a new one because after a while, the bristles do start to go, but essentially what this is, it's an ink pen where the tip is actually a paintbrush. It's just really fun to draw with, and if you don't believe me, believe Eddie Redmayne who I made a draw with it. <laughs> I love this pen. Hello, today I'm here with Eddie on the set of Fantastic Beast. How are you? It's lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, today I'm going to ask you to draw your favourite creature. Oh my god! Uh, this is a really cool pen. It's okay. actually a paintbrush pen. Uh, that's so. brilliant. My favourite creature. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm going to definitely do the ones easiest to draw. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so a bit of that down here. Uh, a bit of this and up there and there and there and <laughs> this might well be Pickett. He is, as you, he basically is an actual stick insect, which means you can Aww. draw a stick man. I love this pen. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. nice. Here we go. That's Pickett. There you go. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you so much. This is so much fun. And then at the very end, I'm pretty sure I bowed. I bowed to him. See you again. Bye-bye. Is that okay? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Ah! Ah! Is that one of my life's cringe moments that keeps me up at night? You'll never know. Anyway, not a lot of rope now, doesn't it? On Amazon, these can cost anywhere from five pounds to 12 pounds per one. The first time I ordered this, I'm pretty sure they messed up my order and they accidentally sent me six extras <laughs> for no extra cost. So we're gonna open a new one today and show you guys how this works. It's so cool. You take the ink cartridge and you put it on the pen, screw it on. You'll know the ink has come through when it's gone black. Where is my paper? <laughs> Things are already starting to come through. It's definitely coming through more now. What's nice about this brush is because it is a brush and the ink's coming through, you never have to re-dip it in the paint. And you can make the stroke very thick, medium, thin. But the reason why I'd say something like this is the only art tool you'll ever need uh, is because honestly on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm sketching or when I'm doing stuff, this is the tool that I want to use. This is the tool that I really like. <laughs> Obviously, other stuff's great too. I love painting, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I probably use this more than anything else. <laughs> Each to your own. You guys know what's best for you and your medium and stuff. I just like this. <laughs> Are you flirting with me? <laughs> uh, so let's, let's try this out. Let's do a drawing. <laughs> So here's an up close look at the pen again. I'm really excited. To start out, we're going to do a more detailed sketch and I've chosen a bird as the subject. Here, I'm just kind of going off memory to be honest. And what I'm really trying to do here is keep it very simplistic yet look detailed. To do this, I'm keeping the lines very fine and I'm trying to not make a lot of them. I'm trying to keep it very simple. Adding a branch here, adding some little swirls to the branch. And here is the final drawing. You can also go for more of an abstract approach. Here are some flower-like shapes just to go for it. <laughs> it's very good for just practicing drawing techniques. Nothing has to be perfect. You can just go with what you want. This looks like a blob of mess, but I've had fun making it. <laughs> Something else I like to do with it is to do simple outlines and sketches and then to fill it in with color. So here's a piece of toast with an egg on top of it. I'm using the pencil to make some little crumb details, little watercress. And then I'm taking my White Knight watercolor set and using it to color it in. The great thing is that since it's ink inside the pencil, you could do watercolor right on top of it. So it's really good for doing quick sketches and to make kind of a doodly style thing. <laughs> Thank you.
this is a drawing of a squirrel that I did give up on. You can also use it for just random characters, random ideas and sketching. Here we've made a swirly swan. As well as more simplistic drawings. Or if you're a fan of adding eyes to a sorting hat, you can go for it because you've got a pintle. I just like doing things like this all day. This is the cat, very angry that we put the little elephant head on the faucet so he can't lick it, which is an everyday occurrence. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Cool. I had a very fun Valentine's Day. Tom took me to get a picnic afternoon tea. It's cute. Pokemon also sent me a Valentine today. It's not Valentine's Day. And it's very clever. For one thing, they sent these Eevee packs, which are adorable. And a card book that Tom will most likely really want. But the card, look at this card. It's so great. This card is so, so great. That's the last time we let Slowpoke do the cards. Stay late. So clever. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, trainer Jamie Jo. Again, I didn't do a video on Wednesday because I was ill. I was so ill. <laughs> also, next week, I'm going to Orlando to do the run Disney with friends. Uh, and then after that, I'm going to be at Playlist Live. And I've got this meetup with these people. All good people. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I will see you sometime soon. My upload days are Wednesday or Saturday. I say or now because I've not made the Wednesdays, but I've made the Saturdays. <laughs> One of the Wednesdays, I kind of played hooky because I was invited to see Sonic at the premiere and I got to see Jim Carrey in real life and I love Jim Carrey. <laughs> I've enjoyed my little table today. It's been fun. Uh, oh, I have a golden pin giveaway. Leave a comment and you might win a pin. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was my shoulder. Stop. Uh, one last just huge shout out to Carrie Hope Fletcher because, oh my gosh, if you don't know, she's going to play Cinderella in Android Lloyd Webber's new musical. <laughs> I'm so, so happy. I can't get over how happy I am. That's such a cool thing. It's so amazing. It's so incredible. Chin up, say, tell Carrie you're happy. Are you happy? <laughs> he winked. There you go. There you go, Carrie. He gave you a wink. Stop fighting me. Why? Is it because I'm not giving you the attention? It's that. I'm not giving him the attention. Now he's fine. I petted him and he's fine. Cat! I love him, but I think he might kill me. Bye! Bye, spice, spice. Godspeed! <laughs>